In 2021, we take a cruise from Galveston to Mexico for five days to Cozumel and Costa Maya. And I'm gonna tell you about what documents you need and how was it. I am a green card holder, so they checked my green card, my Texas ID, my Ukrainian travel passport. It had different names, so that's why I also showed my marriage certificate. They also checked my vaccination card at some point during embarkation, but that was only one time when they, they did it. On the boat, you need to go through a mastering process. It's a quick safety demonstration where they show you how to use a life vest. A master station located in your boarding pass, and after you're done, you're free to go and do whatever you want. Passengers rooms ready at 1.30. Before, uh, you have time to walk around the ship, look what kind of activities they have. You can go to Lido Marketplace at deck 10, get some food, get some burgers at Guy's Burger Joint, to get some tacos at Blue Iguana Cantina, or you can even sunbase next to the swimming pool. At 1.30 you can go to your room, you can find a key in a little basket next to your cabin what you pick, it's gonna be inside of envelope. Which is room with a balcony, it's had two chairs and table where you can hang out and even sun base. Room was nice, not too small. In the shower you can find towels, shower, shower gel and uh, shampoo. Also they have a lot of shelves where you can put all your stuff. This is adult only area which called Serenity. They have really comfortable chairs here and it's a perfect place to just sunbase and chill. They also have hot tubs where you can hang out and they have a bar where you can get drinks. Also you don't really need to bring your own towels because uh, you can get towel here. Here I'm talking about slides and how awesome it was. On the carnival breeze they have a water park and there is two slides, one of them drain pipe and one of them twister. Train pipe from uh, outside looks kind of boring, but it was not, it was fun and it still was pretty fast. In the Ocean Center you can play bingo or you can watch Broadway style musical what they shows here every day. Classic music, acoustic music, folk, Caribbean and soul music, whatever you like. This is a blush restaurant where we had our nice late dinner. Are you ready for some elegant dining? Yeah. We're at the uh, blush restaurant. Every day they have different menu. It's three course uh, dinner, and you can choose your appetizer, main course, and dessert. Like Pretty good. Sweet and sour shrimp, taste test, main course. For extra $20, you can get some steakhouse items like ribeye steak or surfing turf. I never tried them, so I don't really know how it tastes. And if you want, you can buy alcohol, cocktails, wine whatever you want, but it's gonna cost you extra $10 or more. Service in a restaurant is so amazing. People 
people who work in their super professional, they know what they're doing, they're really nice, and they can uh, have a nice conversation with you, like true professional of service industry. We tried Plaza Cafe on a deck 5. You need to pay extra, but items there is not that expensive. You can find espresso drinks there, cupcakes, really fancy looking donuts. Espresso was not bad, not burnt, not bitter, kind of balanced. Cheesecake and cupcake also was really good and fresh. I would recommend you to get them, because it was also not that expensive, around 3 bucks a piece. Or ice cream available for you 24 hours a day so if you're craving for ice cream in the middle of the night or really early in the morning you can go and get them they had three flavor uh, it was um, chocolate vanilla and strawberry but strawberry sometimes disappeared on the deck 10 you can find the guys burger joint usually there is a big line of people but don't be afraid line goes so fast the guys who work in there they make in burger fast they have a huge amount of topping and sauces. We tried um, Riner. It's a burger with onion rings, cheese and some uh, sweet brown sugar topping. French fries was also really fresh and good. I would say it doesn't taste like super fancy burger from super fancy restaurant, but it tastes better than Burger King or Whataburger. So you definitely should try it. I got Chilius Maximus. It was burger with cheese and chili. I also add there some extra jalapeno to make it a little bit more spicy and chipotle ketchup for the french fries. This is a perfect match. On Wednesday we finally arrived to Costa Maya even though we was two hours late. To get out of the boat, I used my Texas driver license, like picture ID, and also my room key card. They scan it when you leave the boat. Also, just in case if you're green card holder, you can carry a green card and your travel passport, whatever country you're from. In advance, you can book some excursions in Costa Maya. It can be visit of old Mayan ruins. You can go to the beach, you can swim with the dolphins, or you can go visit water park. Unfortunately, that day water park was closed, that's why we decided just walk around and explore. In Costa Maya, you can wear your swimming suit because they have a huge swimming pool there. I unfortunately did not film it, but you can grab one of the lounge chairs and hang out here. You can swim in the swimming pool, you can buy a drink in one of the bars near here, and there's also a lot of gift shops. You can buy some souvenirs from here, clothes, some little decoration for your house. There is a lot of different stuff, even some hot sauces and vanilla extracts. It looks like a really popular souvenir from Mexico. Here you see taxi slash bus station. You can get taxi here to go somewhere out from a port, maybe to some other destinations in the island. Also, buses would take people to the excursions 
stop here and pick up tourists. Right next to the pier, on your left, you can find the pool with a dolphin, so if you want to look up close to them, you can go there. We spent about an hour exploring Costa Maya, but then we decided to go back to the Carnival Breeze and get some pizza from Pizza Pirate. In my opinion, this is one of the best free places to eat in a whole cruise ship. Pizza what they make there is all the time really fresh. It's made for your order, you can customize it, add some extra pepperoni, mushroom, cheese, whatever you want. You can try all the flavor and they're all really good. There is all the timeline of people who try to get pizza. For dinner that day we decided to try Ponzai Sushi. It was located on a deck 5. We ordered a ship for two. It was one of the combos. There was two miso soups, two rolls, six pieces of sushi and also some small side salad. Everything there was pretty good and I was surprised. I was not a big fan of sushi. All the seafood tastes fresh. They have really good wasabi, spicy and like true spicy wasabi and not like wasabi from a grocery store. Japanese beer. It's really fresh and crispy and in my opinion it's much really good with sushi and all other seafood. take us to get out of the boat? Five minutes. I think we were, well, it's because we waited until everyone got off. They got off at like eight, we waited till the crowd cleared out. Now it's like, look at this, wide open. Wide open. Nobody. Take pictures, whatever you want. 
that's my suggestion is to wait till everybody leaves half an hour, an hour after they leave. Let's get up. We're in uh, Cozumel, Mexico right now. We're gonna go for the town. And on sales day we arrived to Cozumel. It's another small port, kind of similar to Costa Maya, but I guess it was even smaller. You can buy some excursions, what I actually suggest you to do, because really there is not much stuff to see there in the exact port, so you can buy one of the excursions and go to the beach, go to Mayan ruin, and maybe do something else. <laughs> I don't remember already what kind of excursion was there. You can buy some stuff in duty free, some souvenirs, again vanilla elixir, alcohol. They also have a lot of gift shops and souvenir shops on a port, so you can also walk there and maybe get some t-shirts. And now I tell you a little bit about debarkation. On the last day when we arrived to Galveston, we arrived there at 8.30. At 8, we just take our bags, went to the deck 5 down there, and in a piano lounge, wait when they call our master station. When they call it, we went down, we take stairs because uh, elevators was kind of overwhelmed, and they scanned our card and we was free to go. No one even checked any of my documents like passport or green card. The vacation was far the easiest one. Thank you for watching my video and if you have any other questions you can ask me in the comments down below.